which is the 2023 NJSIA high school baseball season. We've got the legendary John Kroger here. Um, the man has seen more high school baseball than anyone or any two, three, four, five people put together in New Jersey through the years. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to figure out uh, what we got coming up with one of the most exciting high school seasons around, I think, talent-wise. Um, group one, group two today, and it is brought to you by Emory Gloves, custom gloves, www.emorygloveco.com, 15% off during preview week of all custom gloves if you type in NJ15 for all of our wonderful nation followers. John Kroger, we got group one, group two. You ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. North one or north two? Let's start north one. And uh, give us the lowdown on group two, group or group one and group two. Last year, North One gave us our state champ in group mm -hmm. two with Ramsey and Will Kirk, the awesome 2024 Virginia commit, winning the state title over Haddon Heights. And uh, Caden Bodine, or Caden Bodine, who is uh, doing a great job already at Coastal Carolina, hitting a ton. Yep. And in group one, it was South. Uh, the South champs, uh, Woodstown, mm -hmm. um, capping a successful couple of years. Chase Rieger winning the state title on the mound as Woodstown won the state championship in group one. Let's go up north and talk about group one, group two. And North, north one, group one is really tough. Um, and I don't mean to put it down at all, but there's, there's some schools in there that are mainly, they're not they're not big time schools. Um, I really, I'm going with the best player in group one, in my opinion, Nick Shewitt at Mountain Lakes. Listen, they had a tough one at Woodridge last year and they got knocked out. Nick Shewitt can pitch. He can catch. He can hit. And Mountain Lakes got some players that are back. Um, I don't care what they do in the regular season. I don't care if they're 10 and eight. If you look at this North one, group one, I could see Paquanic being decent, uh, Pompton Lakes being okay. Um, Butler even throwing in a couple of good games, but I'm going with Mountain Lakes. I like Nick Shewitt on the mound. He's 88, 90. Um, when he pitches, they're not going to lose. I agree with you overall. What about my guy, Anthony Marco at uh, Waldwick? Anthony Marco, he, he texted me, actually DM'd me the other day. Sorry, Ann, I, I didn't want to. Um, Waldwick's definitely a good club, but that's that's North 2, though. Aren't they North 2? Nope. Oh, well, yeah, okay. All right, so I don't have Waldwick down here. It got blocked off. Waldwick's, Waldwick's definitely a good team. Waldwick's got a shot. Uh, let's just set the game up right now. Let's play the game on April 3rd. Waldwick versus Mountain Lakes. That's what I'm saying. I think those yeah. are my 1 and 2. I, I do agree with you. That uh, Shewitt puts Mountain Lakes over the over the top, sort of like. Yeah, he, of course, he's last, of course yeah. last year I said Devin Russell was going to put Mountain Lakes over the top, and and he's a stud, and and I was yeah, right. I said the same thing. Except I, I was right on the 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 on on Devin Russell, I, but 
you know, Mountain Lace got bumped off, but I think they do it this year for sure. Yeah, I think so too. Group two, North one, group two. Um, Ramsey well, is there. Yeah. Ramsey's the favorite, but is Ramsey the only team there? And uh, oh you know, no, what else? Do you oh see? no, oh no. Well, we all know Will Kirk is one of the best left-handers in the state, and he he was last year as a sophomore. Um, Anthony Pallone, this this is a really good uh, club. Um, Westwood's in there, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, Connor Roach. Um, I'm going to, in my wise, you can throw in there a little bit, but I'm going to throw a team here, and you're going to say, you know what? I didn't think of that team. And they were 12-9 and nine last year. They played a lot of freshmen and a lot of sophomores. Um, they had their, be their best pitcher back, uh, Matt Sabato. Their sophomore catcher, Aiden, uh, Aiden Ellis. And Matty Freed at short. That's a strong up the middle. I'm going high point in this in the sectional final. Ryan, 12 and 9. You're, you're gonna win 20 this year, baby. <laughs> and the boy, Ryan. Ryan Ellis, great guy, amazing guy, uh, great coach. Um, he built it from the bottom. And I, I think uh high point's gonna be really competitive this year. Um, and expect good things out of that club and his yeah, son. His son Aiden is tremendous. He got so good. He got so good. And Freed is a dude, man. I love Freed. He, he they, the good thing about High Point is you can have kids that think they're good. These kids go out there and play hard every second, no matter what the score is. I got I'm gonna go Ramsey uh high point in the final, and it's gonna be a tie. <laughs> Oh, and then you put the runner on second base and you play until the runner yes. scores, right? When it's yes. a tie. I uh you sold me on high point, but yeah, I'm still going with Ramsey in the as the champ. Um North Two. Let's let's talk North Two small schools. Group one, group two. What are we uh what do we see here? We'll start with the ones in, in North Two. You always have to watch for New Providence. Um, you always have to watch for David Brearley. You got Glenn Ridge with Griffin Seibel, who is, uh, you know, you got a, a kid going to a, a major mm -hmm. D one hitting and pitching um, at uh, going to Xavier. But for Glenn Ridge, you got Dayton, Jonathan Dayton High School, Frank Dasty, one of the Frank top Dasty. underclassmen. Yeah, he's a sophomore this year. And, you, you know, I listen, I know that kid can play, man. He can hit, he can do it all. But he threw a lot last year. He, he, um, I think he pitched in like 10 games. And out of those 10 games, whether he pitched one inning or four innings or whatever he pitched, they won eight of those games as a freshman. That's pretty impressive for that. That's as a freshman, that tells me one thing. I ain't losing. And Frank Dasty Jr., you listen, that kid can play. I I actually have Dayton here winning that. That's who I got. I like New Providence. They lost a lot though. Um Rodor does such a great job. He has Luca Vitali back. He had what th around 37 hits last year, and then uh, the kid Grill um, on the mound. New Providence has a really tough schedule every year. The the best Group One schedule in New Jersey, them in Pennsville, the best. The, it always prepares them for the states. So, but I'm gonna go with, with Dayton. I got, I'm going with Dayton. What do you got? Um, we're gonna hold that till the end. I like to. I like to see. See, I like. I like your excitement, and I'm saying I want to keep everybody watching until the end. Yeah, the Woodridge people are like howling at me. Like, what about us? What about us? Yo, relax and have a cream <laughs> soda, guys. Relax. I. I'll mention you guys. Woodridge is going to be in the semifinals, but I don't think they make the finals. Group two, um, you got to me a definite favorite in Caldwell. Okay, you think they're the favorite. I don't think they're the favorite. But I will just, I do want to sneak in here. Another one of those movers, you're talking about the, the group two state champ two years ago. If you look at the bottom there, Voorhees sneaks into North two, and they're always good. You know, Coach Kent has always got something great, up his sleeve. Great guy, good coach. Yeah, so that's, that's good enough to, to change things around a little bit. Um, what are you seeing? Okay, so 
Yes, uh, Zoom Luke's back, undefeated last year, lefty. Good, good. Ryan Smith, great job at Caldwell. 24 wins, eight losses last year. Um, and Caldwell, for some reason, in every sport, they're making the state finals. They win in football. Great. They even made the basketball, basketball final. So you could easily say, hey, Caldwell, it's a strong athletic class. But I, I'm going to – sorry, guys, man. This is a team I always say every year. I'm going with the Hanover Park Hornets. Yeah. Hanover Park. You got Lapinto back and Toby Smith, the best one-two in that division. Nobody can tell me a better one-two and pitching wins sectional titles. I'm uh, going with the Hornets. And they were two. It was just two years ago, right? You now that Voorhees uh, Hanover Park State Epic State Final from two years ago could be a sectional quarterfinal sectional semifinal right i mean that's uh hanover park is always it's tough to go wrong with them but uh you know if they we'll... lose the only listen if they get injuries i could see it sorry coach Ware, man yo like i did to coach Carm last year at egg harbor you gotta win you you gotta you gotta win you gotta the win this now. now the time yes, is now central two central two um is tough. Central two is like really, really tough because mm. you have schools that have dropped down in the last couple of years. So yep. now you have Rumson, who was in the running for a lot of the years, top public school in the state, um, tailed off a bit at the end. They got a little banged up and 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 fought the injury bug a bit. Um, but this is this was kind of the year that they were pushing towards. So um, you're talking about group two central. central. Yeah. yeah. So you got Rumsey. Yeah, there got are Wall. so many good teams. You here. got Wall, which dropped down into Group Two a couple of years ago, and and there, Andrew Fisher is gone, but their pitchers are a year older. You got yeah. Ocean Township sneaking into Group Two. Oh yeah, um, with a couple of you know they, they may not match up totally with some of these teams, but they certainly got some top line guys that are good players. Monmouth Regional is about to surprise this year. They are Hamilton the North. You got, yep, you got some teams that are on my sleeper list. Don't forget Brett Patton and Maniswan. Um, yeah. You got uh, Hamilton North, like you said, Governor Livingston, um, the uh, Diskin, uh, uh, Matthew Diskin, Anthony Denora. You've got Delran, our, our perennial South favorites, having to bump up the Central Jersey. Boundbrook moves up from Group One with Jacob Anderson. Um, Bordentown, uh, Elijah Tredigo. What the heck is going on? We haven't talked about Spotswood with uh, the Comiskey brothers. Comiskey, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're talking about like 10, 11 teams deep in South 2. I don't have a, a, a coin big enough to flip here. Here's the problem with this. You, you Like you said, you got the Spotswood. You have a team like... Uh, Hamilton, you got Governor Livingston, who they have a major injury on the mound. So they're going to win and knock people out. Mm -hmm. um, Wall, that Wall's going to be a really good hitting team. And, and actually, they might have the best hitting coach in the state of New Jersey, uh, John Scores. He's now coaching at Wall. I don't know if you knew that. No. You know, you know Johnny? Mm -hmm. He was umpiring. Now he's he's coaching. Play with well, the Expos, went to Montana State. He's got Give you a guys. shout out, Johnny. Um, out there to work with Gabe Cavazzoni, among others. Yep, I think Rumson is really strong. I mean, again, you, every team I talk about that's winning is going to have pitching, and and you have Goods and Hinchcliffe um, at Rumson. Um, you're the one that I, I guess you told me the shortstop's hurt, right, Charlie? Uh, Tarman, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's out. So that's going to hurt. I, I don't know if it's for the year or whatever. Um, but they Reese Maroney. Mm -hmm. Reese Maroney, I don't know if he's gonna pitch. Last year he didn't want to pitch, but that kid's throwing 91 miles an hour. He's a great player. Um, so Rumson's gotta be a team. And but they I think right now they they're they're looking for opening day. They're playing our our big time Red Bank Catholic on We're gonna day. hold off on the Red Bank for their pre yeah. But, yeah. but Rumson has a tough schedule. Um, but I'm gonna make a lot of people and Del Rand's good. But I'm going to make a lot of people happy. All right, Monmouth Regional. Aiden Denton. 
Joey Esposito, and and his dad's coaching now at Monmouth um, to help Cravello out. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm jumping on the Monmouth regional wagon. 14 and 10 last year. They got everybody back. It's going to be Monmouth and Rumson in the final. That's my. It point. will be a lot better than 14 and 10 this year. What about exactly. group one? Point Beach finally broke through and won Central one, deservedly so. Knocked off uh, Middlesex in the final. You've got those two. You've got Shore Regional, who was one of the the great Jekyll and Hyde teams last year in New they Jersey. They beat Red Bank Catholic. Yep. And have and most of their, the, the, the Stefanelli brothers there. They got their guys back. Um, that's the top three. I don't, I see teams doing all right. Otherwise, Barnes. Uh, well, I know who you're going. You love Middlesex every year. I love him in the tournament. That's for sure. Yeah. But, coach Nastasi, one of the best coaches. And, and, you know, every year when Middlesex gets to the state tournament, they always have a pitcher. I don't know that. They have it. They have Alfonso Esposito. I don't Watch know. Last summer. Yeah. Young, got a lot of a lot of big innings. Middlesex should be good. I just don't know if it's their year, but I I you said it already. I sure regional's got seven arms back. Cole Staffanelli and Robert Stock. Like, yeah. come on. That's they're playing a group one. They're gonna be playing group one states and they're playing against group three and group four teams during the regular season. This team's going to be prepared. They're going to be 10, 11 and 10 or 12 and 10. And then they're going to like, they're going to march through the state tournament. There is another team though, that we're forgetting here. New Egypt, New Egypt was 15 and seven last year. They have a really good catcher infielder. It's named Zach Jenkins, um, New Egypt. They have a good schedule for that area. They play Cinnaminson and those teams. They're, they're going to be a tough out too. Yep. Yeah, so that's four. Lawrence is always tough. I think that's your top five. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get back to that in a second after we hit the South teams. We're going to go South two first. South two is another one of those ridiculously even brackets had in heights. Took that last year and then beat Rumson to get to the state finals. Um, should have mentioned got some talent this year. Uh, Haddonfield is always tough. Your guy Griffin Clark behind the plate, up and coming young catcher. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Parker is a stud. Oh yeah. Um, Manchester seemed to like sprinkle in their magic the last couple of years in the state tournament. Um, Oak Crest has got a couple of guys, including Will Grayson. I mean, West Stepford's the team. Um, Thomas Settle's back. They're going to be really good. Um. Again, they're always good. John always does a really good job mm -hmm. with that club. Um, you, got, you got a bunch of I can't throw a team at you. You tell me what your thoughts are. Now, I, I like Haddon Heights. That's my pick because, listen, they lost two good pitchers, but I think with, with uh, Jake uh, Greasy back and Drew Harris and Mason Dobbs, and I can go on and on. This team was 22 and eight last year. This is a good baseball team. Um, Greasy had 51 hits last year. That's sickening. Yeah, gonna, and, and the, experience, the experience from that run is tough to beat. Yes, yes. I'm going to throw a team at you. And they're a year older. They were a little bit young in the field, but I know they graduated a lot of pitchers. But Seneca's group two, Braden Davis. Yeah. I, I they were it. nine and 16. I'm not saying they're going to have a great record, but Braden Davis, he, I'll tell you what, he's tough. He is Bra tough. Bra he can hit. He can pitch. He can do it all. He can play, uh, he can play quarterback for you. He's he's going to two-way. Yeah. I mean, not two-way at Rowan. He's going to two-sport at Rowan. He's, I, I, I talked about Danny Cyprian in the group four preview. Braden Davis is, is up there on that all-athletic yes. list for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, uh, he's a tough kid, man. He don't play either. He's one of those kids he don't laugh. He don't, he don't, he's not happy. He just, he wants to know when his next meal is and when his next baseball game is. He's, I know he came after me a little bit. What's the all-star game? And, you know, you know, he's, he's, he's a really good player. I got to watch him a little bit. Yeah. Very impressed with him. Um, he, he's tough, tough player. South one is always a battle. Mm -hmm. um, Woodstown state champ last year. Can, can yep. they, can they get back? 
Um, you got Audubon, you got with one of the best all around hitters in New Jersey that I, I love, Tyler Wilty, already committed to Rutgers. He's a 25. Um, you got Paulsboro, which is, you know, Listen, Paulsboro, a lot of people like Paulsboro every year. And, you know, the coach does a really good job. Coach does a great job every year there. But mm -hmm. I, I, you, have, the team, you haven't said the team yet. And before you say it, I, the next team you say, I know you're going to say, that's my pick. I spoke with Coach, coach Carr today about his team. And I said, dude, you started five freshmen last year. Yeah, he said, yeah we're going to have four or five this year again. Uh, I'm like, wow. And then Luke Wood. You know what he said about Luke Wood? He plays like a senior. He goes, I've never, ever, ever. And he look, look at the players that went through Pennsville. I mean, he had Max Deneen. I've never had a kid as mature and the, went about his business like Luke Wood. And he's only a sophomore. A kid had 84 Ks last year, 47 innings. That's yeah. impossible. Yep. I yeah. got Pennsville. I got Luke Pennsville. And not only them, they Chase Petrus. Is there? He's a sophomore. Uh, Peyton O'Brien, sophomore. Connor Starn, sophomore, and Chase Birchfield. Those guys. He batted 462 last year. Chase. That's five sophomores, and I'm picking them to win South okay. One. I think they got the most talent in South One, even though you mm -hmm. got a lot of uh, fight there. Um, the question is, do they have the experience? And I think. If they can manage their pitching and get Luke thrown in the toughest games, I think that's going to be my pick okay. as well. Well, you say experience isn't 43 games enough to be. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. There, there's sophomores that are going to be juniors. Next year, we're going to be talking about Penzel being top 20. Yeah. In the state. Yeah. If they win this, yeah. yeah. I, I, Carr was, t listen. That, and Carr does a really good job with his kids too. He's so down to earth and he's just, he's able to deal with those kids. And I know that's a, not an easy town to win it. I mean, you got, it's a tough area and he, those kids just come to play for him. It's great. So we agree on group one. We disagree on two, right? I got West Stepford. You've got Haddon Heights. Is that, that's right. Um, my biggest worry with Haddon Heights and any team that's the number one seed. See, I think Haddon Heights is going to have another great year, but this is my worry, the 8-9 game um, or the 7-10 game if they get the two seed. There's a kid at Oak Crest High School who can beat anyone in New Jersey. His name's Will Grayson. Yep. I don't know. If, uh, Will Grayson is a complete dude. And if he's throwing and he's hitting, that kid can be game by himself. Dominate a game. Mm -hmm. So if he's pitching, they can beat anyone when he's yeah, not that's, pitching. That's, that's, is just that's right. Team. That's why everybody listening to these predictions that get getting all upset should realize that his single elimination baseball, none of it matters. Yes. <laughs> um central and you said Florida. Bruce Parker had Adenfield. Bruce Parker, I mean. Who yeah, hits the ball farther he, than that? He hits, he hits three, you know, long balls, drives in five, six runs at, 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 against anybody, and all of a sudden they they beat whoever. You know, it, it's – I mean, these are, these are great players. Central one, you are shore regional. Are we on the shore bandwagon? I'm going shore regional, yep. Um, Boy, that would be a surprise for me to go there. I'm going to say Point Beach wins it again. I'm not going Middlesex. Listen, I have no complaints but, about that. But I, I will tell you too. this. You're good, too. Whichever team avoids, right, whichever team gets the one seed and doesn't play that 2-3 matchup is going to be who I ultimately pick when the brackets come out, I think. Right. Because, you know, you get to kind of uh, – You got to beat Middlesex or you got to do – Yeah. You know, you, yeah. I don't know that, you know, the, those, it's too hard to have to beat both, you know, of those three. Well, it's almost both. the same thing down in the South, too. I mean, if, if uh, it's the, the seedings have everything to do with having your pitcher throw a couple yeah. of days before. Now, when you play the really the team that you thought you would play in the finals, do you have your one or your two? Central two, we go in, uh, we, we, you got, are we going, are we going full? 
Aiden Denton Monmouth or yeah, Monmouth. I already said Monmouth. I I'm gonna make okay. those people happy I, right I, away. You picked the final. I didn't know if you picked the champ. I I like Monmouth and and I like Denton's as good as anybody in that group. And when you have a catcher of Joe Esposito's magnitude, uh, the kid can mash. And I think he's a year older. He's gotten so much better behind the plate. You need a really good catcher to to dominate to win a sectional title. And I it's, think I it's think a he's great pick. It's a great sleeper pick, but I'll still take Rumson in that matchup. Um, okay. And uh, you know what? If that is the final, because I, I I certainly could see that as being the final. Then uh, yeah. We'll Could be. With, I'll deal with Aiden Denton being mad at me if uh, you know, prove it if it gets there. But those, those are that's a great matchup. Sure, um, North- I like Rumson. Rumson was my team last year, if you remember. Yeah, and they won like the first nineteen in a row, and uh, everyone says ah, they haven't played anybody, and then all of a sudden they beat Not Rainey. It. You know, mm-hmm. they beat Rainey Prep. I said I told you they're going to be good, and then they lost in the states. Um, which I thought Rumson was so good, and uh, it was it was tough. But North, it is North two group one. Um, you got Dayton. Yep. So North two group two. I'm on record with Caldwell. You're on record with uh, Hanover Park, right? Yeah, Hanover Park Horns. If if, if Ware don't win it, uh, he's getting he's getting a ticket in the mail. I can see that as a final too. And, uh, yeah. We're both on Mount Lakes in the uh, in the one, and you are high point North One Group Two, and I got uh, I'll go with the champs, even though it's tough to repeat. Oh no, I'm going with Ramsey. I said Ramsey right. high point. Oh, I'm going with Ramsey. I, right. How do you not Ramsey? Ramsey might finish. They could be the best team in the state they of New Jersey. Be, again. Right, they were number two in the public schools last year. They could be. Uh, yeah. I mean, if Will Kirk brings in the Bergen County title, they're in the top five in the state automatically right there. Absolutely. So. That is it for our group one, group two preview. We can't wait to see you guys out at the field. And we will be back tomorrow with the big one, North our non-public A and B.